third eye, which is Ajna. It's an indigo color. It, it, it rules over your intuition, your imagination, your clairvoyance. Um, it's also, it's like the brain region. So your senses, your perception, this is all ruled by your third eye. And as we become more and more in tune with our body, this third eye can give us insight into a lot of different things about our own health and well-being and our circumstances and our purpose. Um, but it's, it's like, you know how we only use a small part of our brain at any given time. So it's that part, this is quite asleep in most people. And it takes a lot of meditation and breathing and awareness to wake up the third eye in order to actually get the power from it. Um, but all yogis write, who've been yogis for 20 years or longer, write about how much power the intuition gives us if we are able to, empower, to nourish it and nurture it. The third eye is the indigo, also blueberries. Um, indigo colored food, again are, are harder to find like there's certain grapes are sort of that shade um the third eye is also exercised through meditation so while humming for the throat chakra meditation for the third eye um and, and any exercises that engage this spot and also you can even just put by putting your finger here and concentrating on this area kind of awaken a sense of a little bit of a vibration just underneath and the gland that is linked to the, the hormonal gland linked to the third eye is the pituitary gland, which is in charge of balancing the body. Um, and it is, it's actually, it's the, it has a lot of properties in terms of, since it's seated in the brain, overall homeostasis is maintained by this gland. So that is also has a lot of healing properties.